Woods. She became the pioneer for all of us who followed later. All of us. Lucy even gave herself a short-lived stage name. For 30 minutes, she changed her name to Diane Belmont. <laughs> a real loser. Lucy was a showgirl at first, because she was a gorgeous woman, you know, and she would come down the stairs like this. Determined to work, no job was too small for Lucy. Lucy loved being an extra on the set, being an Indian one day and a colonial lady the next. She just loved to work. It just didn't bother her at all. But Lucy's big personality always shone through, attracting the attention of Hollywood's most famous actress. Carol Lombard was a big star, and uh, Lucy was in, you know, the chorus, and Carol Lombard would always say, that girl is funny. You've got to let her be funny. Mr. Anthony! Mr. But Lucy wasn't intimidated. Desi was known as a player, and there was a booze and the broads. Although madly in love, intense jealousy would soon become a major part of Lucy and Desi's relationship. Bus boy. Bus boy. Cleaning tables, filling glasses. My favorite the movie of Lucy's is called The Big Street with Henry Fonda. Everybody should see that. It's a Lucy you won't see everywhere else. She had a really great performance in her. Just grab paints for larceny. What'd he ever steal? Nothing except on that dress and them rocks you got on. The big street brought her to the attention of MGM. Lucy was no longer just another pretty face. There was always the rumor that at one time, Lucy as a starlet had gotten upset on the set about something. And she turned to the director and she said, someday I'll own all of this, and walked out. You don't see the same thing. The, the Lucy thing was like it just came out of nowhere. They became more concerned about her beauty, you know, in the movies. Two minds that work as much alike as ours belong together. Lucy tried to be like Carol Lombard. I like those odds. I'll take them. And she learned her lesson. Be yourself. You couldn't keep up trying to be somebody else. She said, you take from other people. And she said, when you do that, she did say, take from the best. But she wanted to be funny. I mean, that's who Lucy was. And they did routines where Lucy played a C on your own. Oh, 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 oh. Well, it was fabulous. And she proved that Desi was a brilliant straight man. Nobody had thought of him to do that. As was a woman leading a sitcom. Lucy became the Lucy we know and love when she went into television. There's no question that Lucille Ball opened the door. Lucy always, always gave her writers so much credit because they gave her a lot. She could hang from her heels by, uh, you know, in a helicopter, and they would buy it. They'd go, well, we couldn't do it, but Lucy can do it. She was every woman to them. Time of peace. Lucy never dreamed of that kind of fame. Who had? Television suddenly made you more famous than anything. The couple named their son Desi Jr., you could not work her hard enough. She was fun to work with, if you like to work, because she expected 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, whatever time it was. She started. She wasn't just doing... She appreciated comedians, and, and she would laugh, you know, like crazy. I love to make her laugh, and she had a raucous laugh. Ha, ha, ha! It was wonderful to hear her laugh. They built an empire. They were not used to that kind of stardom. I mean, the pressure of that was amazing. America's favorite couple. I remember they were doing the hour shows. This was after I Loved Lucy. And the scene, they went to Japan in the show, and she had on geisha makeup. And I will never forget her look. She had been crying so much that 
her eyes, it was all white, and then the inside had that red, you know, from crying, and she was full of sadness. Although devastated, not surprisingly, the press had a field day with the divorce news. As we would leave the studio, there would be reporters out front, and they would say things like, you don't need Desi, or you should have the studio. It was very pro-Lucy, and like that, she could turn, and she would say to them, Desi is a genius. You don't know Desi. She was able, in her sadness, to come to his defense. You to head Desilu Studios, which financed Lucy's next starring role, a 1960 Broadway musical called Wildcat, where she was a singing and dancing oil prospector. She got rave reviews for her stage presence, but audiences missed Lucy Ricardo. I think her um, foray into New York was not a good affair uh, for her. She was a movie and a television baby. But there was a silver lining to her time in New York. When Lucy was doing The Lucy Show. The Lucy Show is I Love Lucy Without the Men. They brought Vivian Vance back to be her cohort. Lucy was a widow, and they both had children, and they lived together to get by. To get Lucy back on TV, CBS shelled out the most they had ever paid for a half-hour show. But it was a very solid investment. The Lucy Show's 1962 debut was the top-rated program of the week. Audiences were welcoming their beloved redhead back with open arms, even without Desi by her side. I always thought that Desi loved building the empire, but once he got it, I think he got bored, and that's when trouble started. By most accounts, Desi's social drinking eventually grew into full-blown alcoholism. <laughs> While Lucy performed on The Lucy Show, she simultaneously reigned over Desilu Studios. But that time behind the desk was coming between Lucy and her first true love. I never thought she liked being head of the studio. I felt that she always um, sort of resented having to leave the set and go anything to do with the business end. She wanted to do her show and act. She did not care about, you know, being the head of the studio, but she had to be because there was no one else. And when once Jack Benny was the guest star on her show, and Lucy, when she was working or rehearsing, she physically would handle you, you know, and say, now move over here. So she grabbed Jack Benny and she said, now, Jack, you just move over here. And she pushed him and he said, well, tell the redhead she doesn't have to be so pushy. Now, where's the leak, lady? <laughs> I remember talking to her, and I said, Lucy, in your whole life, you've always had such accolades. I said, just let it go. It's the one time. Let it go. It was clear that the audience did not love this version of Lucy. Lucy taped an episode of Super Password the day Desi passed away. During the show, it was clear her heart was in another place. Why? Um, how is that? Um, I can um, okay. I think the public loves to think of them as loving each other to the end, and I think the public is right. I think they did. I think they loved each other through it all. They loved each other, and it took me a long time of working for her before I actually realized that. It's just an amazing life, what they accomplished. Amazing to have that talent and then all the other things, too. They were kind of a miracle couple. They really were. The church was filled to capacity by the time the service started, filled with people who had been touched by Lucy on television. I think when she died, that was a shock. She was ill, but I don't think anybody expected her to die at that time. She was a friend, and they loved her dearly, and. She's truly going to be missed. There's it's such a, a loss. I was on the road in um, Steel Magnolias, and I remember that they let me dedicate the evening's performance 
to Lucille Ball. And that audience applauded for a long time. The sun never sets on Lucy. Somewhere she is playing to this day. That is not true of the Jack Bennys, the people who were big stars also at that time. They're gonna remember her for I Love Lucy because that hasn't been off the air since 1951. She was beloved then, she's still beloved. Generations of new fans all at the same time. She brought the world a world of laughs like no one else ever has. And she was the first. And no matter how many come after her, she was the original. You can't beat that.